On this special senior episode of SHS Today, we take a closer look on students Brittany Nagel and Alex Bromley. We prepare the juniors on what to expect for their upcoming senior year. And finally, we ask graduating seniors what they plan to do after school. All of this and more on this episode of SHS Today. Hello, Celine, and welcome to SHS Today. I'm Taylor Nunley. And I'm Kyle Coons. We've got a very special episode for you today. This, sh this show was produced entirely by the seniors of SHS Today as our final show. Let's go out with a bang. Seniors, it would be wise to buckle down and study hard this weekend for trimester three exams. Third, fourth, and fifth hour exams will be on Thursday. First and second hour exams will be on Friday, which is a half day. The exams will be for seniors only. Good luck, everyone. Here in Selene, we have many talented students. Some dance, some sing, and some even appear on TV. On this week's student feature, we take a look at the lives of local seniors, Brittany Nagel and Alex Bromley. Hi, Hornets. Before they graduate, we're taking a look at Brittany Nagel's journey through ice skating and an exciting story on winner Alex Bromley from The Price is Right. My sister wanted to start skating when we were really young when we first moved here. I was wanting to do like horseback riding and gymnastics. I started it when I was with her and I fell in love with it more than any other sport. So I was named to the world team my sophomore year and that was after being named to Team USA in 8th grade. I've been to Italy multiple times, Germany, Austria, Czech Republic, and France I think four times. It's really hard work but like once you're dedicated it can take you so much further than you could ever imagine which is really cool. Wearing Team USA and like standing on the podium and it's a feeling you can't even imagine unless you're actually in the moment. It's, it's awesome. Now we take a look at Alex Bromley and his experience on The Price is Right. We were in California because my brother's in the Marine Corps so my mom and I wanted to go visit him. We decided that while we were out there we wanted to go to a bunch of shows in LA and one of them was The Price is Right because it's free, all those shows are free. So uh, we went to The Price is Right with him when we met him and uh, my brother, my brother was in his dress blues for the Marine, like they weren't gonna not pick him. And then I stayed for a second show because I was like, they wanna pick me. I was freaking out. It was crazy. I, I looked like an idiot on TV because I just forgot I was on TV and I'm just going insane. I had one a bed, like a bed set with uh, furniture and all that stuff. I want a big TV and I want a trip to Miami with uh, jet skis and I want a trip to South Africa with uh, surfing lessons. The camera you forget about pretty quickly even though there's like six of them and then you remember, oh God. Congratulations to the both of you. We here at SHS Today hope that both of you continue to be successful in the future. Graduation rehearsal is June 5th at noon. It will take place at Hornet Stadium and it is imperative to make sure you attend or you will not be permitted to walk at graduation. If you have a family member who cannot attend, don't worry as the event will be live streamed at selenelive.com. The actual graduation ceremony will start at 6 p.m. and go until 8. Let's face it, high school is no breeze, and sometimes students can make some mistakes, from picking classes to finding the right click. Kyle Wagner and other seniors are here to give you some advice on what it takes to make your high school career easier than ever on this week's installment of Top Tips. Hi, Celine. Welcome to the final installment of Top Tips. I'm Kyle Wagner, and I'm here to give students three tips what they should do to succeed through high school. All these tips come from the seniors here at Celine. Tip number one, find a social group. One of the best things you could do long term here is find friends that will support you through these four years and even beyond then. While this is a daunting task, you can find people like this by joining a sport club or just a regular club here at school. What I've enjoyed the most has actually been the Selene Ultimate Frisbee Club. My freshman year is when I joined uh, Frisbee and it wasn't really that hard because I originally had my team to start off with and they were very supportive of me even though I must apply to know what I was doing. But after that I started talking with more people there because everyone was just so friendly. Tip number two, don't be pressured into things you don't want to do. There are times in high school where you'll be faced with choices and opportunities. Some will be good for you, others not so much. While it's important to go out of your comfort zone, you have to draw the line somewhere. Make smart choices. 
Tip number three, enjoy it. Your high school years are a great time. It's filled with a lot of firsts and a lot of last. Make this time to experience the good and the bad time, so one day you can look back and have stories to tell when you're older. We were in my sophomore year of marching band camp, and we had just been called to attention, and we were standing there in our block, and then some of the seniors ran out in a bunch of Pac-Man characters and just ran around in the block and we had a ton of fun and we were laughing our butts off. So to recap, find a social group, don't be pressured to do things you don't want to do, and finally enjoy it. Signing off for the last time, I'm Kyle Wagner, back to you in the studio. Thanks for all the great tips Kyle. I knew it would have been super helpful for me if I knew those tips at the start of high school. With the seniors' last day quickly approaching, we here at SHS Today were curious to find out what they're planning to do after graduation. We send it over to Luke Trokey to find the facts. Hello, Celine. I'm Luke Trokey. School year is wrapping up, and seniors are preparing for the next stage of their lives. We talk to as many people as possible to find out their plans for after high school. I'm going to Western Michigan University. And they had a great biology program and music. Uh, I'm going to be heading to Michigan State University for Applied Engineering Sciences. Uh, I'm going to uh, the University of Michigan in College of Engineering. Study Graphic Design at Ringling College of Art and Design. After high school, I'm going to attend Western Michigan University for Multimedia Arts Technology, which is basically audio production. I'm going to Temple University to, to study mechanical engineering and do Navy ROTC. Uh, after high school, I will be attending Eastern Michigan University to study either business or education. We also asked seniors what they'll take away from their time here at Celine. I mean, I've been doing the robotics team for a few years now, and I've really enjoyed that. Just take it like easy, like don't rush through things, and just relax. I've taken a lot of business classes and I took careers in education, so I've gotten kind of an idea of what I've wanted to maybe go into in the future. With 466 seniors graduating this year, we wish them all the best of luck in their future. Signing off for the last time, I'm Luke Trokey, back to you in the studio. Interesting. What do you plan on doing after high school? I'll be starting up a Western Law at the fall. What about you? I'm going to Central. Good luck to you and everyone else after graduation. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you and everyone for all your support this year. As always, I hope you enjoy the show. I'm Kyle Coons. And signing out for the last time, I'm Taylor Nunley. Tune in next week for the stories about the art fair and a feature on a local band, Al Acoustic. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Hornets. Hornets.